the leg kick, I'm gonna look to strike, but there's times where you don't want to take a lot of shots, so you need to check. You need to check. So I don't. I'm not a fan of bringing my leg up high. I like to do minimal. I like to watch the kick that's coming and go to okay? you know, meet it halfway. So that that that's my preference because there's always guys that are gonna kick high and then they're gonna sweep. You know, and I I'm not gonna get caught with that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a guy that always kind of stayed on my toe and blocked and then and then fired off. Okay, just because I like it. I'm not a fan of this. Okay, I think it's. It puts you on defense too much, and if you're always on defense, if I do something that puts you on defense, I can keep you on defense the entire time. And it makes you not have offense. You can't win a fight if you don't throw, okay? So I, I just don't believe in, in being here and being on it all the way back. I believe on being more aggressive, taking a step back, blocking, and then getting to work. Makes sense? Always making sense. Yeah, exactly. So my philosophy on defense is tight and, and very basic. The more that you play games, the more that your people are going to see entries. Okay. So the more that a lot of people try to block like this, like no, let it come to you. Okay. Like you have a lot of time to think. If you throw a big, a big head kick, you know, with your lead leg, and I and I block, I'm thinking about. I see it, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm blocking. Right. Okay. But in that same time, if I'm if I'm calm and I see it come, and I'm going, oh, I'm up. You know, like I'm already thinking about my offense and I'm letting it come to me. Plus my body is stronger as one unit. Whereas if I if I go, oh kick. Yeah. You know, that's how guys in the UFC have broken their arms. Okay? He broke his arm. Not like that exactly, but this is weak. Okay? So in the time that it's coming, if you're if he throws that kick and I'm here and I just block, boom, boom. Okay? I'm gonna fire. Because I gave myself that time to think instead of going, oh, okay. That makes sense? So whenever you can stay calm, stay relaxed, stay confident in your defense, it's going to be huge. And that comes by when you, you probably do a lot of tight sparring, a very relaxed sparring of just letting, you know, I let, I let people throw on me all day, you know? Okay. Good morning. So I, I just watch and don't break. Just, just stay there. I see guys doing this stuff, and I'm like, well, what are you doing? You, you gotta keep your eyes on him. You look away and you look back, and it's the biggest punch of your life is coming. You know? You don't know. So always keep focused and always keep alert and keep adjusting. Put yourself in the best position to fire back. Okay? Other questions? Like when you are getting a lot of offense thrown at you, and you're like, kind of like, like a What's a good way to like counter to like uh, like when you're, like when you're, let's say he's throwing the right hand, how would I counter him and like move my feet to get a good angle and get out of like? There's two ways that I like to do it. One is with your eyes, staying. If you're able to stay confident, like I said, you're watching and you're looking, okay. But you're also looking and feeling and listening, okay. So we talk about fighting, we talk about rhythms, beats, okay. So whenever somebody's throwing a punch at you, you're going boom, 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 okay. You you know their rhythm. So in between that is when you throw. Make sense? It seems complicated, but it's not. So what I used to do is I used to purposely spar and I would get tired. I would put myself on the fence in the cage. And I, would, and I would put my defense up like I was hurt. And I would let them gain confidence and throw a couple. And then I would just, I would count. One, two, three, boom, boom. And I would throw as hard as I could. And I used to like get something out of that. Like every time I would go against the fence, I would let them get as confident and as aggressive as possible. And then I would go, ah! try to throw and push back and watch them go like this. So what I always tell people is, it's the mindset of, of uh, it's a terrible analogy, but mindset of getting jumped. You know, if you ever see someone get jumped? Well, six people have the mentality of, hey, we can beat this guy up and not get hit, right? But it's say that guy gets up and he just starts swinging. Everybody's like, whoa, because their mentality going into it wasn't one-on-one, -on -one, hey, let's, I might get hit, but we're gonna fight. It's, hey, 
I can hit this guy, he's not gonna hit me back. So when someone's hurt on the fence, and they're in a bad spot, they automatically assume that, that you're not gonna hit back. So the first time that you just swing, they're gonna go, oh, and that buys you time, okay? And a lot of times it gets you a knockout. So the biggest thing I can say is, throw your balls at that time, you know? Say, oh, oh, this is the time where I gotta dig deep. We got the first session started. What session? Um, when you guys are done here, we're going to do some demonstrations in the Octagon too. Okay. Just to talk about all the different classes that okay. we have. I was told that I was no longer needed. We're, we're just attacking this attack. So if you throw a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? After that three, I'm gonna follow. Boom, boom. Does it make sense? And you can feel it, because so they're always gonna be the same patterns, okay? So you go one, two, three, four. Okay, I always count in my head. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I try to beat him to it, okay? Because as his combination goes, he's gonna get slower, and you're, you're just starting, okay? So I will make that a drill of putting yourself in bad situations and just feeling, listening and watching. When is my opening? Anything else? I think it's better to be a defensive fighter or an offensive fighter. Depends on what you're good at, your natural abilities. Um, I'm the kind of person that I adapt. And, and the reason being is, is I'm pretty athletic and, and I have a, you know, a decent fight IQ. But when I was coming up in fighting, I used to be able to mimic people's styles. And so all the guys that I was helping get ready, you know, uh, Joe Stevenson and Tyson Griffin, Gray Maynard, all these guys that I was helping, I was like their beat up dummy. I would, I would try to like pretend to be their opponent. Yeah. So I learned to fight different ways so I can adapt, you know? So that's my, that's, that's me. But a lot of people are just natural counter strikers and a lot of people are just naturally aggressive. So whatever is you, be you. Whatever makes you great, remember that. And never stop being that, but always get better at everything else. Make sense? So whatever is your style, own it. And get better at it, but but don't have weaknesses. Okay? But but your strength has to be strength. Okay? So if you're a counter striker, be a counter striker. Usually you're fast, you have good reflexes. If you're an aggressive fighter, usually you, you have that aggression in you and Usually you're not as, as fast and you, and you can take a punch and you just like to go forward. So, I mean, it depends on what you're making. Just play. big right hand guy, no matter what, I'm gonna be focused on that, right? Right here, this is my da this is danger. So when I watched tape on him, he did like a, a left hook, a, a left head kick, and he did a spinning back kick. And so everybody was like, man, you worried about a spinning back kick? He knocks people out with that. And I was like, no, I'm really not. Because what I would have been worried is if he went this way, and then he also went this way. That would scare me because now I know I can't spin any direction. So if I walk this way, he's going to spin him back kick. If I walk this way, he's not. So I always knew that I was in what situation I was in. And so his, what were his other two things? I said his hook and his head kick. Okay? So if I walk up to him like this, he's never going to knock me out. Does it make sense? His danger is here. So if I'm guarded here, I'm literally fine. 
that make sense? So I went into that fight very confident, knowing that he was strong, but I knew striking-wise that, that I was okay. People were like, oh, but he does this, he does that. Yeah, but you're watching his highlight video. That, that's a, a highlight. It's not, it's not everything, okay? So I knew that, that I could stick him apart, and I also knew that when he got tired, that all the people that had dropped him before, because when he got loopy here, people were able to go in between. And so I would knew that I could break them down, get them tired, and then hit those shots that other people had already exposed. And I was just going to follow 